Hello and welcome to today's February 28th daily news report. Today's broadcast is packed with important information you need to know, so stick with me to the very end. If you're a subscribed member of my community, then welcome back. And if not, consider subscribing. On this channel, I keep you in the loop on what's really going on in Washington, D.C. with President Biden and the U.S. economy. I'd like to thank today's broadcast sponsor, Grammarly, and I'm going to tell you about their amazing offer later in today's video. Okay, let me know in the comments, tomorrow is President Biden's State of the Union address. Is the United States better off one year later, or is it worse off one year later? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. I enjoy reading them. President Biden is expected to speak about his massive economic victories throughout the night. He is expected to say how almost all Americans have more money as a result of his becoming president, even though we are dealing with the highest inflation we've seen in 40 years, but they will tell us that it is all COVID-induced inflation. The White House says the inflation is all COVID's fault and not Biden's policies, and so they are going to keep the focus on COVID uh, being the real enemy to your wallet. Biden's approval rating as of right now is sitting at 30 per, uh, 37%, which is lower than Trump's when most of the country thought Trump was in cahoots with Russia and the Mueller investigation that was going on. So Biden has a lot to address on how he's going to improve your life and also uh, whether he will focus on inflation going forward, lowering gas prices going forward. Uh, hopefully it won't be so one-sided. Uh, hopefully he will speak to all Americans and not just his own Democrat party. Canada announced today that if Biden gets the $550 billion for green energy investment uh, by signing a Build Back Better bill, that Canada might not be able to provide the massive amount of resources necessary uh, using the money this large amount of money would buy, right? So they're worried this may be a huge amount of money that we're not able to support giving you all the resources for. Upon hearing this, uh, China announced that they can help Biden with all of the materials he needs to improve the United States. So will Biden take China up on their offer? Or will he stick with traditional partners like Canada and Mexico? Only time will tell. Okay, now I have some potentially good news uh, to share with my community about gas prices, the Build Back Better bill, uh, and the U.S. economy. But let me tell you about today's video sponsor. I want to thank today's video sponsor, Grammarly. 30 million people use Grammarly to improve their emails and work-related assignments. Between writing emails, video scripts, articles, and ads, I do a lot of writing each day, leaving my writing open to mistakes. For example, a few years ago, I fired off a quickly crafted email to a doctor about his financial plan. Sadly, I lost the deal because the email had a couple of spelling and grammar errors. This made me come across as sloppy to the client. Uh, now, don't be mistaken. Grammarly is much more than a spelling and grammar checker. With an app like Grammarly, it would have caught these errors, improved my sentence structure, and made sure the tone of my email was optimistic. The last thing you want when dealing with work is to be slowed down by having to heavily edit emails or work assignments. Why not let Grammarly do it for you in the background? Grammarly has a free version for all members of my YouTube community and a premium version for those that really want to put extra polish on their writing. Lastly, a lot can be lost in translation when writing because a reader doesn't see your face or body language. With Grammarly's free version, you can check the tone of your email and whether it comes across as optimistic or negative. However, when you upgrade to Grammarly Premium, you can get access to their tone transforms that give suggestions on how you might reword a sentence to bring a different tone and a different feeling to your message. Grammarly will even suggest a clarity full sentence rewrite to keep your message concise and straight to the point. Get through those emails quicker and your work by keeping it concise, confident, and in the right tone with Grammarly. Go to grammarly.com forward slash Stephen Gardner to sign up for a free account and get 20% off Grammarly Premium today to help you work more efficiently. All right, now let's get back to today's news update. 
Republican Senator Cotton and Hawley are saying the smartest thing Democrats and President Biden could do right now to help the American people would be to re-jumpstart new oil production here at home. Uh, they say the country could rally on a bipartisan basis around energy independence. They would create 100,000 new good paying jobs uh, for Americans. They would also ask that the Keystone Pipeline be reopened. They say they would support this as well as many other Republicans on a bipartisan win that Biden would have bragging rights for. They also said if he won't do it, you better believe energy independence will be on the Republican ballot in 2022 and going forward. They also said we could lean even harder on Canada for oil and gas and less on Russia, but we'll see what they end up doing. Now, I'm curious to know from my community, do you think we should focus on energy independence or are we okay depending on other countries because eventually the price of oil could come back down? Let, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Should we start becoming energy independent or continue to use partners hoping the price will come down? Now, Senator Mitt, uh, Mitt Romney said, we have to bring back the child tax credit monthly check program. Romney was the first uh, to originally introduce this idea, but only Democrats moved forward with it because it was lumped into Biden's $1.9 trillion stimulus bill this time last year. Romney now proposes $350 a month per child and said he has had many private conversations with Senator Joe Manchin, who likes the idea. So they're having private conversations that you and I aren't aware of, and it sounds like Senator Joe Manchin might be on board. Now, both Romney and Manchin say it must be for working families. This would get Senator Sinema and Senator Manchin to vote. They would also likely pick up a few additional Republicans, and voila, we have a passable standalone stimulus bill. Now, there's also talk about adult tax credits uh, for those that aren't raising children, uh, but there could be income caps placed. And as of right now, this is an idea that still needs to get what they call sponsorship among people in Congress before it's uh, created into a workable bill. The stock market is responding well today with almost all stocks being in the green. Now, remember, I told you about two different uranium companies about six months ago. Well, if you had bought them last week uh, when they were down, you would be up 33% on your money and uh, up 15% on UROY or Uranium Royalty Company. So uh, Uranium Energy Company blasting through the roof with energy being a hot, hot topic right now. Also, their sister company, Uranium Royalty, blowing through the roof. So uh, I don't know if they're going to continue to go up. So I'm not saying to buy or sell or get in or out, but you might want to take a look at those. Also, uh, Gold Inc., GLDG, uh, is up 12% since I told you about it, as gold looks more and more desirable as a way of protecting money as currency all over the, the planet is struggling right now. Germany announced that their biggest energy mistake was moving away from nuclear and signing on to more fuel from Russia. Although Chancellor Merkel is no longer in charge, she still has significant pull in Germany and has suggested the new chancellor make nuclear energy a bigger priority for the country. And this is one of the reasons that uranium is blowing through the roof right now. So uh, it should continue to do well or things may uh, start to cool down as things in Europe improve. Mitt Romney and Speaker Nancy Pelosi say President Biden is doing an excellent job with everything going on right now. Democrats need to make some big moves in order to have any chance of remaining in power. Inflation continues to be the number one worry on most Americans' minds right now. Many election specialists are saying this entire coming election may hang on how expensive gas is at the pump and how expensive groceries are at the store. As of right now, almost everyone is filling the pinch and hurting wallets equals hurting poll numbers and hurting votes. So it'll be very interesting come November to see what happens. 
Over the weekend, Republicans held their CPAC convention in Florida. Former President Donald Trump was shown to still be the top Republican uh, that people would vote for, with Ron DeSantis being a distant second place. By the way, thank you guys so much for giving these videos a like. I really appreciate it. I'm hoping that they can figure out all of this energy stuff and get the price of gas to go down. Uh, we'll see if they make energy independence a focus, and we'll also see what is President Biden going to tell the country tomorrow, and I'll be here to let you know all about it. Now, this is my update for today. As I know more, I will definitely come on and share more with you. Make sure to go click the link for Grammarly right now. You can learn more about them. Also, they have that free offer for everyone in my community to get their free program and also their premium package for a great pr uh, price uh, for those that really want to take their writing to the next level. Now, before you go, I just want to remind you that you are amazing. I appreciate you being in my community, and I'll see you on the next video.